In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble Clawhammer Supplies Dual Vessel Essential Oils Distiller. I'm actually at the Rabbit Mountain Lavender Farm near Boulder, Colorado, and we are gearing up to distill some lavender oil and hydrosol. The first thing we need to do is assemble the equipment, so this is what that looks like. The assembly process will be different for everyone depending on what they order. The system comes with a water level sight glass, pressure relief valves, and some plugs to fill the openings for optional accessories that were not purchased. We've shown a few items in this video that don't come with the base system such as the boiler thermometer, the column thermometer, and the thermo well for the controller temperature probe, the heating element, and the controller itself. Not all of the add-ons we show here are completely necessary, but this is our recommended setup. Check out our website for a detailed description of the system and the add-ons. That's clawhammersupply.com. After unboxing the system, begin by installing the threaded inserts. Wrap the threads two or three times around with thread tape Then screw them into the bungs. Tighten the items with a crescent wrench or just a pair of pliers if that's all you have. Though if pliers are used, consider protecting the fittings with a rag or a paper towel. Next, begin to assemble the tubing that connects the vessels. It's easiest to put these parts together on a table and save the connection to the actual still output and input fittings for last. To connect, place a silicone gasket between the ferrules and clamp the ferrules together with a tri-clamp. Our system includes all of the gaskets and tri-clamps you will need. As I mentioned, connect the tubing to the stills last. But before you do that, place your lid on the boiler and secure it with a large butterfly clamp. The still lid has a gasket built in, so you don't need to add one there. After that's done, place a gasket in the tubing on top of the boiler and secure it with a tri-clamp. Next, connect the steam tube to the input of the second vessel, again with a gasket and a tri-clamp. Once the stills are linked, insert the false bottom into the second vessel. Of course, you'll need to fill it with plant material before you start to distill, but the goal of this video is just to show you how everything goes together, so we're going to skip that part. Thank you. 
The column gets placed on top of the lid with gaskets and tri-clamps. In this video, we're installing a column thermometer on top of that, which isn't included with the base system, but it is recommended. It goes together the same way the rest of the tubing does. Before installing the condenser, you will need to attach some hoses. We've used some nice silicone tubing on the condenser in this video, really just to make it look good. But these fittings are actually sized perfectly for garden hose, which is what we recommend using to supply water to the condenser. What we recommend doing for the hose itself is to buy some long garden hose, cut it in half, and then attach those cut ends to the condenser. Note you'll need to pick up some 5 8 inch hose clamps to secure the hoses to the condenser. We do recommend attaching some nice silicone tubing to the lowest port. This is where your distillate will come out and you will only want it coming into contact with high quality food grade tubing. If you wish to purchase tubing for the output from us, select the hose output option on the order page when purchasing the system. Our output hose is high quality food grade silicone and comes with the hose clamp you'll need. We've saved the heating element for last for a couple of reasons. First, it's not part of the base system, although we do highly recommend using this as your heat source. Second, it's a bit more complicated than the rest of the system to assemble, so it actually has its own video, which we will link below. Go watch that video, wire the element, put the element adapter together, and then return here for the last couple of steps. Once your heating element and element adapter are assembled, slide the element into the inch and a half ferrule on the steam boiler. Don't forget the silicone gasket. Then secure it with a tri-clamp. After that, plug the element into the outlet on the controller marked heat, plug the temperature probe into the controller and place the actual probe into the thermo well, which should be screwed into the lower side of the sight tube. Again, the thermo well, the controller and the probe are optional, but we do recommend them. Note, before plugging your controller into a wall and operating the element, you must add water to your boiler. Operating the element without water in the boiler is called dry firing and it will destroy the element. Please do not do that. As I mentioned, this video covers a bit more equipment than we use in our base system. If you see something in this video that you did not order, add one of the lugs included with your system in its place and don't forget the thread tape. For complete details on the base system and all of the add-ons, go to our website, it's clawhammersupply.com. We'll put a link below. And as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email us. It's info at clawhammersupply.com.